In my opinion, the biggest issue with the video game industry right now is this strange relationship between game developers and giant companies and the average gamer and how there seems to be an adversarial relationship. And there's just that kind of disconnect. Like your audience, your customers shouldn't be your enemy. You should be trying to think of what what's everything I can possibly do to cater to my audience. What do they want so I can give it to them so they will give me their money? Because that's what they're trying to do, you know, that's just business. Is you're just trying to convince someone else to get them to give their dollars to you. And the easiest way to do that is just to make them happy. And it seems like a lot of these people in these giant companies are taking away the wrong lesson from it. And so if we get into this article, so Tim Sweeney, essentially, I'm going to summarize this a little bit. He talks about how there's all of these projects that are failing, all of these high budget games that are failing, that are millions and millions of dollars. And he says, oh, things need to change. And then he goes, Fortnite is such a great game. It has so many concurrent players and so many kids are playing it. So Fortnite is the future of gaming. So we should all be more like Fortnite. And he seems to totally forget or totally be unaware of the fact that more people are playing retro games than ever. And one of the most popular time, like one of the most well-regarded times in video game history right now, in more recent history, is the early to mid 2000s and they could make games with some similar ideas to how they were made back then but they it's like they don't want to learn this kind of lesson one of the biggest complaints people have about video games now is the whole online component aspect of it and PSN went down recently, and people were who just wanted to play games on the weekend were just screwed because a lot of them are all digital, and they weren't allowed to play their single-player, supposedly offline games because their PlayStation couldn't ping a server. And there's nothing more evil and anti-consumer than something like that. But... This is what's happening. We're just going to get this more and more and worse and worse until either these people get out of a job from these companies or these companies just die. And, you know, all the money is going to flow down to the indie developers. And we've gotten so much... Like, some of the best games in the past 20 years have been from indie developers. And apparently that's just not going to change. Because big developers, big companies, can't pay attention to the consumer that they hate so much.